A simple pose that stems from the excellent fighting game franchise Guilty Gear has become something of a commentary on the physical impossibilities of the manner in which video game characters are represented, in a way that playfully pokes fun at the issue. Obviously, I won't be showing any of the not safe for work iterations in this video, but because the original comes from a video game, I can definitely show you that. The character that originally posed like this is named Jacko Valentine, whose crouching poses revealed enormous levels of dexterity. Seriously, if you tried to do this in real life, you'd likely need to be a contortionist. As a result, the name of this challenge is also known as the Jacko Crouch, or just Jacko Challenge. So you're probably asking, why on earth did all of this lead to the recent explosion of millions of images online wherein characters are copying the pose? Well, that seems to be attributed to the popularity of the newest Guilty Gear DLC, which includes Jacko Valentine as a playable character, and as a result, Twitter user Lulu Boo seems to have been one of the first to repost it as a GIF, with the caption, She is so normal, on the 15th of August this year. It's worth noting Lulu Boo has attracted a fair bit of drama online and has since deleted her account, so if you want to view her original tweets, you'd need to use the Wayback Machine. On the same day, Twitter user Vitreous Glassy credited what is believed to be the first adaptation of the Jacko pose, creating a less sexualized version of the backbreaking crouch. This opened the floodgates to what became a redraw edit challenge, culminating in potentially millions of creations that have spilled out from the Guilty Gear fandom and out into almost every area of social media. Redraws and edits are an essential contributor to the online ecosystem, as they often provide an opportunity for artists or meme creators to gain recognition for their work they otherwise wouldn't have. But it is clear that the redraw they've done here is intentionally played to the weirdness of the Jacko pose, considering there are very few real-life iterations of this pose and 99% of the content we see online related to it is rendered in two dimensions. Of course, the video game and anime industry is infamous for creating wacky proportions when it comes to its characters, so it's hardly surprising that a game in an anime style has done exactly the same thing. Essentially, the Jacko pose is a great way to satirize the weird and inefficient poses rendered characters are put in just for fan service, even if it results in often more fan service. What meme would you guys like me to give a lesson in next? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, like and subscribe! <laughs>